Hi, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Girls Rising Virtual Connect. Our very first guest is Rachel Balgovich. She is the hitting coach for the New York Yankees. And we've got Mika Bardeen, who is, I believe, the number one squash player uh, for under 15-year-olds in the United States. You know, eye tracking, I find that so fascinating. My son um, is dyslexic, and he goes to vision therapy. And the, his vision therapist uh, works with a lot of baseball players and tennis players. And it's something that's really intuitive, right? We all, like, duh, you know, a tennis player or a baseball player would need excellent vision. Right. But I think that it, this actual skill of eye tracking is different than just having 20-20 vision. So you can have good vision, but the actual right. skill of picking up that ball when it's moving 100, well, in tennis, more than 100 miles an hour in baseball, usually 90 to 100 miles an hour, that's a whole separate skill that you have to practice. And, right. you know, there's been research on that for decades, but not many people are looking at it's it. It's one so of the things that Mika does. Mika has a podcast um, and it's about exceptional kids, right? That Mika, by the way, is 15 years old. So she's just a kid. Are you dyslexic? I'm assuming you are based on yes. that podcast. So and, I am dyslexic, yeah. And you play squash. So do you find, do you do vision therapy? Does that help you? I was actually so glad that you mentioned that because yeah. I've been doing a lot of, um, do you know Brain HQ? I don't actually. So, so there's many different there's many different apps, but just um, the tracking because yes. because I have dyslexia. Some some coaches think that you know it's easier for me to track the ball, and others think that it's not. But right. it's still something that I think all athletes, especially at a younger age, should try and develop. So that's that's why your son um, does the vision therapy, and I have a lot of friends that are dyslexic, and they did it at school and stuff. But um, there's there's different ways because like dyslexia, when you're reading, it's all about the reason why you can't get all the words and why it's hard is because your brain processes things like a tiny bit slower. Right. So you're just ending up guessing, right? So, so there's different neurological ways to change that. And so I, I have done that for school and now I've started getting to it for squash. So I was so happy you mentioned that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I so loved cool. it. Yeah.